Do you have a dynamic foraging disk in your disk management? Well, this doesn't sound too good. Let's try and save it because obviously the disk exists here and it seems to be in a semi bad standing, but it's not that terrible. So let's try and save it here. So if we right click on disk here, this dynamic foraging disk thing, we can click import foraging disk. So here you see the checkbox foraging disk group one of one disks. Okay. So here we have conditions of uh, different volumes and we shall have them both and just click OK. And see there, Windows Explorer popped up. We have this volume F and volume D here. So we can check around a little bit here. It doesn't display any data on it. I'll try and use the Puran file recovery and see if we can get something out of it. But here we have it. It is imported and we should be able to uh, format it. Right here we have Puran utilities, which you can install for free if you like to. So what do we have here? 99 megabytes, physical drive. That's my drive. And this physical drive one is D1. Uh, we may actually select this one F here and we may scan it. No deleted files found. Well, in that case, we'll need to do a deep scan and see if we get anything out of it. After a while, we may click stop and it find a few files. Uh, you can, of course, find all the files, but you know, with this small data here, we can look through these files a little bit and see if uh, uh, it can explain what drive this was. All right, to judge from the images on this computer and some of the recovered files we didn't run, the whole process we just scan like 30 seconds and found some random stuff. I think this is an old kind of Windows 7 computer. Uh, there is nothing to save here, so we will not bother to recover. We will instead, instead delete this little volume here, which we will possibly could boot a computer bed. And we should then delete this volume, indeed, like that. And we can do a new simple volume of this, and hopefully it should then work. We'll assign this the letter L. I'm going to use it for media. So we will set the unit allocation size to max. And we are not giving it the name. There we have it. We will click finish. And it will now format. Fantastic. We now have a new drive on our system. And hopefully it does work. So that's nice. I think we may have indeed saved this uh, foraging drive. Let's do a little rescan here. It shows up at L. We have some reallocated sectors, but yeah. Cool, it seems to be working and hopefully it does for you too. In any case, if the drive shows up in Crystal Disk Mark as caution, you know, don't have that drive as the only backup of something really important, basically. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like and do subscribe for more. This is your host, Jim Odism, signing out.